Hello guys, back again, and this time we're going to talk about Capcom, everybody's favorite little company that, well, quite frankly, hasn't exactly kept up. They've done things to make the fan base not exactly like them, right? They've made a lot of decisions people don't like over the time, recent years. Well, this time Capcom is looking for a few, a couple new good weapons for Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate. Now, Monster Hunter is a very popular series, especially over Japan. And basically what they're doing, the publisher is basically staging a contest uh, for fan, encouraging fans to basically develop two new weapons to be used in the game, which launches uh, over here for the 3DS in 2015. Uh, Capcom is only actually accepting one entry per person, uh, and they ask that the actual weapons be based on uh, 14 weapon classes available in the, in the game. And the weapon classes are uh, swords, and, swords and Shield, Dual Blades, Great Sword, Long Sword, Hammer, Hunting Horn, Lance, Gun Lance, Switch Axe, Light Blow Gun, Heavy Blow Gun, Light Bow Gun, well, I don't know why I said Blow Gun, Heavy blow, Bow Gun, <laughs> how did I say that, Bow Gun, uh, Bow, Insect, Insect, what, Insect Gravit, and Charge Blade. And they're actually the participants are actually asked to send a uh, an illustration and a weapon name uh, in an email uh, to Capcom, you know, under contest at Capcom dot com. Uh, what the subject line MH four U weapon design. Uh, a description of the weapon's capabilities is optional, but should be limited to a hundred words. So basically, a very small, almost like a Twitter <laughs> a Twitter blurb of the weapon. And uh, the two winners will be chosen. Uh, one from America, one from Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. The deadline for entries is May 5th. So, uh, Monster, Monster Hunter 4 is actually launched in Japan. It sold over 3 million copies. You know, of course, it's, in its first two months, it's very big over there. But Monster Hunter is a game that some people like to play over here. And it is cool. They're asking people to design two weapons. Now, again, I know what you're going to say. The well, last time Capcom asked anything was, of course, Mega Man Legends, and that thing got canceled. But in this case, this is going to be coming over here. If the game's already been made in Japan. It's just a localization process. And clearly, they want to add a couple new things to make people want to buy it, who maybe maybe they imported the Japanese version. I don't know. Right. What do you think about the fact Capcom is asking for fans to design two weapons in the game? Do you think it's kind of cool? Do you think more publishers, will you like publishers to do something like this more often? Where fans get some kind of interaction with the product that's being made? Because to me, that is to me ultimately where gaming is headed, where the fans and the publishers, at least some things in the game, kind of interact together, where there is some kind of, like, mind hive decision between the fans and the publishers. Hey, these things should be in the game. Or allow some fans to make something in the game, which should always be cool. Anyway, like always, guys, Thanks for liking, fans, subscribing. I really do appreciate it. I will talk to you guys later.